What's up YouTube, GT John. Today we're gonna to be talking about how to get out of a reckless driving ticket or really just any speeding ticket in general. If you stick to the end of this video, you guys are gonna hear a pretty embarrassing story on what actually happened to me once when I got a ticket. So be sure to stick to the end. So let's go ahead and get started. As we all know, us car guys, we do have a tendency to speed. And depending on where we live, like in California, uh, we all know that there are laws out there for cars really do suck and as a car community in the car culture whatever you want to say we do things that might not necessarily be completely legal for example speeding running red lights I mean we all do it by nature everybody does it whether you say you do it or not everybody goes at least a few miles an hour over the speed limit at some point in time the difference is when you get caught how bad it's gonna be now based on my personal experience for those of you that know me I've been pulled over many many times before it's back a couple years ago I've gotten a lot better now I have became a pretty good boy now <laughs> um, many many years ago I was getting pulled over and getting tickets and warnings for just about everything you could think of um, it did help with what I'm about to tell you now on what I do so when you're getting pulled over you should automatically think put yourself in the cops position know that the cop has a job to do and he's pulling you over obviously for some kind of reason you obviously did something wrong whether you were speeding running a red light following too closely something like that you've more than likely done something wrong and now you're gonna get pulled over so when you're getting pulled over think of the cop what I always do is every time the cop gets behind me or every time I know I'm gonna get pulled over I go ahead I start to slow down and as soon as the cop gets behind me I go ahead and flip the inside lights on like that just so the cop can see everything that's in the car he can see who's in the car he can see my movement he can see I'm not trying to hide anything and he can walk up and approach the car with you know a little bit more comfort knowing that I'm not trying to hide anything in the car and there's nothing he needs to seriously be concerned about in the car because you got to think of the cop standpoint they're walking up to something that they have no idea what's inside the car they don't know anything about me all they've got is whatever information they ran on the plates and say you borrowed a friend's car or maybe you're in a, your wife's car or your brother's car or whatever that car when they run the plates it's going to be registered to an entirely different person so that's why they're always going to walk up with precautions so as soon as you get pulled over think of the cops scenario think of the cops standpoint when he walks up that has always helped me big time and it eases the cop and the cop doesn't walk up and he's not on a grid and he's not being he's not on alert now that may not always work because you also got to understand that police are human just like you and me just like us car guys they may have bad days too so they may be out to get somebody just because you know maybe their boss got on them about something but I mean that's not always the case and so the other thing I do after the cop approaches me is be respectful that's just something you got to think of if you're gonna argue with the cop as soon as they get to you it's probably not gonna end well and you're more than likely going to get a ticket I mean that's an, a pretty much given if the cop walks up and you're like what do you want pig and you know you're making fun of them and stuff like that or you're just absolutely disrespectful to them, you're going to get a ticket so as soon as the cop walks up you know it's yes sir yes ma'am yes officer whatever you want to say whatever you feel comfortable saying and in my experience it's always better for me if I see the cop I know what I was doing wrong say for example if I'm you know going 20 miles an hour over the speed limit and I see a cop coming at me and I look in my mirror and the cop whips around I know he's coming to pull me over so I just go ahead and I've immediately pull over you know like I said I turn the lights on like I mentioned earlier I go ahead and pull over and just sit there and wait for him and the other big thing is when they're walking up to your car keep your hands on the steering wheel where they can see them until they get to the car that way if your hands are like down in your lap they don't see that you're like hiding anything and they don't have to like try and peek their head into your car and see what you've got going on now this doesn't always work this won't always guarantee you getting out of a ticket but this will better your chances of getting out I can speak from experience I have personally gotten out of a reckless driving ticket twice twice now because of doing that and once was actually not even a full month after getting pulled over for it the first time so it was like three weeks and I got pulled over for going reckless driving already again 
Now, I'm not going to say where this was. I'm not going to say the cop that it was or anything like that. Now, something else that you do have to know is tickets, speeding tickets in general and everything else, they're all about revenue, especially for these like little small cities or these little small towns. That's really the only source of income that that police station has. So that's why they're going to continue. That's why some of these smaller cities are very aggressive with running radar and doing traffic violations and stuff like that. So keep that in mind that when you're going through these cities, you're more than likely getting a ticket for going six over the speed limit. It's just, it's what it is. It's a part of it. It's what they're going to do. Um, however, if you fight the tickets in court, they're most likely going to be reduced based on your criminal record and etc. They will be reduced. You're still going to have to pay a fine, which is, in my experience, what's happened most of the time. I've, you know, the last ticket I got, I fought. It was a very high ticket. I'm not going to say the speed I was doing, but I probably would have lost my license. Um, however, I did fight it because I've had a clean record since then. The judge waived it and he reduced it. There, there was no points involved, but it was something like uh, improper uh, equipment in the car or something like that. I forget exactly what it was, but it was a very expensive ticket. It was like 200 something dollars, plus I had to pay my lawyer fees. Um, however, I got no points on my license, so my insurance knows nothing about it, which is always a plus for us car guys. Now, now if you follow any of these instructions that I've previously said in this video so far, it will better your chances of either getting out of the ticket or getting the ticket severely reduced or greatly reduced, I should say. I told you guys I was going to give y'all my a personal embarrassing story. So this is a true story. I was actually driving out with a friend. Remember, it was like 1130 at night. I was actually taking my friend home. We went out. I don't even remember what we did. We went cruising. This was years ago. I was like 18 years old. And we came up on a stop sign. Now, back when I was 18, 19 years old, I was notorious for just completely disobeying driving laws. Um, so I was flying down this 25 mile an hour road and it was coming up on a stop sign just outside of his neighborhood. And I hit my brakes. Mind you, I slowed down. I was still doing about 25 when I took this turn. I took the turn, completely ran through the stop sign. I literally said, who the stops at stop signs and after I made the turn there was a little cop sitting right there and I looked at it and said oh shit and I kept I got to the top of the hill and by the time I got to the top of the hill I looked in my rearview mirror and that cop whipped around and was like right on my ass right at the time and of course I did what I said I turned my lights on I kept my hands on the wheel and I was very respectful of the cop and very honest I was like yeah I know what I did well she ended up not giving me a ticket for speeding um and i also didn't have the right paperwork in my car you know i didn't have my i don't think i had my proof of insurance i didn't have my registration which if you guys know if you guys have ever been pulled over that's like a big no-no not to have all the paperwork i didn't have all that so i did get the ticket for running the stop sign but she did let me go on everything else i did she said that she's not going to give me a ticket for speeding She's not giving me a ticket for not having all the paperwork or anything like that. So I was very grateful for it. It was very embarrassing because of what I said. And then guess what? I got pulled over right afterwards. So it was a really embarrassing moment. And my friends never let me live that down. I had to hear about that for a while. So I just wanted to share that. Comment below your most embarrassing story about getting pulled over or your most embarrassing ticket that you've gotten if you've got one. So go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.